Hey guys, we are back at it again with another video. This one is very interesting for it's gonna be quite fast paced, not like my normal videos, which are kinda slow. But when I was recording this video, I realized something. Most civilization simulations that you see online are probably faked. This is what one truly looks like, and oh, it's quick and it's disastrous. I present to you. The plane crash simulation, where seven players try to survive a plane crash. It starts off really quick with one already dying by a drowned. Their goal for this video is to try to find a beacon, that's why they can escape this island with another plane flying overhead and saving them. Megalonite, the first one to find where the beacon is hidden, he examines the place where he needs to drop down. There is a whole maze down there full of booby traps and you can get easily lost down there. Heck, I even got lost down there trying to find the beacon. Because I couldn't find it. It's very hidden. Meglo, he decides to break the other blocks and is about to drop down the hole and there he goes. He explores the tunnels. He tries to find where the beacon is. He cannot find it. However, he is one of the only ones actually doing the objective that he's supposed to do. The other people can't find it. However, he eventually finds the cavern of which it is hidden. He has to fight multiple mobs to try to get to where the beacon is hidden, which you'll see in a second where it is. He fights a few more mobs and he climbs up the cavern trying to find it. Oh look, he sees the mine shaft where the beacon is hidden. He goes to the entrance. He has to find it. He has to succeed because he's the only one actually doing the objective. He scours the mine shaft and finds some diamonds. It's not what he's looking for, but he needs it. He goes to craft an iron pickaxe. He continues to explore and he almost gets killed by a creeper. He almost dies, the only one searching for the objective. Now you might think all is fine, all is well. S and right now it is. They've conquered some roaming pillagers that are roaming the island and all seems well until as I'm looking for a lost item, which multiple are hidden, Relevant Bike is slain by Peng. And then soon after, Meglo gets killed by the skeleton. The two people are down. The three are remaining. There is one out in the mines and three carving out the tunnels in the base. They are farming, they are gathering resources, they need everything they need before they go out on the quest to find the beacon. Peng has become a dictator now. He has killed one person already, and his slaughter will not end there. He calls everyone back to the room for a speech. Spicy Boy sets up a nice candle circle for him, and he begins to light the candles. This is where Peng's dictatorship began, and this is where most civilization simulations are most likely faked, because you never see something like this before. So Peng goes into the circle, punches Spicy Boy out, and starts declaring that he is the ruler, and only three of them will be able to survive, which is not at all what the objective is. Everyone needs to try to survive, but one can still survive and win. So this is what he decides to do. He pits Nightcreave and CM against each other. They both are staring at each other into each other's eyes with bread in their hands. 1v1 combat, the winner shall stay alive, the loser shall die. However, CM starts suggesting some things and starts telling Peng what to do in, his, in Peng's words. However, Peng does not like this very much, so instead of the 1v1 duel, he picks his targets, and once he decides, he kills CM, finishing him off one, once and for all. The three then set out on their journey, trying to find the beacon. He knows that they have the strongest people now, according to him. But in a few seconds, you will see how that is very falsified. They continue their journey. They travel through the harsh lands of the island. They, found, they find some glitched water, and they jump down into it. Sadly, though, this is Peng's last hurrah, as while he's exploring, he drowns. Now Nightcreave and Spicy Boy are split up. Nightcreave decides to explore the island by himself. He slays a few pillagers and he begins to explore the island. 
he's doing a sky bridge because there were too many mobs on the ground and he doesn't want to die. However, this will soon prove to him that it was actually a mistake. A mistake that almost cost him his life. However, he was able to water Bucket Clutch and continue exploring the island, trying to find any sign of victory. He jumps down and meets up with Spicy Boy, but strangely, he doesn't go with him. Nightcreep eventually gives up. He's had enough. He commits suicide. Only one remains, which is Spicy Boy, who's now found the Beacon Temple. He debates going down there, though, because he does not know what lies below. He does not know if he could survive the fall, even though there's water bucket. He almost gets pushed down by a zombie, however, he manages to recover. He then gets attacked by a phantom, and now, with mobs all around, he has to decide quickly what to do. He jumps down, and I follow. The last hurrah. As I go down, Spicy Boy begins his quest on to find the beacon. He does not know where it is. Meglo never told the directions of the base. He is now another victim of the maze. He continues to explore, for there is really no place for it to be. He decides to go left. A smart decision. He sees that Meglo mined out some ores already, but he does not know where he needs to be. He's running out of food too, because he's had his hunger, which means he's eating round flesh. However, Spicy boy, after 15 minutes of searching, couldn't find the beacon place. He couldn't find the cavern or the mineshaft. So now, Spicy boy decides to give up. He's had enough. He drops all of his items inside the lava, preparing to give up his life, because he's had enough. He's the last survivor, a victim of Peng. He drops the last of his items in the lava, looks me, looks at me one last time, and he does it. Spicy boy is no more.